turn it on, I guess. So that is on the lowest setting. Looks like it's drawn as much uh, amperage as the uh, the fan I had on. And that's because the compressor's not kicking in yet. Wait till the compressor kicks in and see that thing jump. All right, let's go turn the compressor on. Fan is on low, power is on. There's the compressor. Oh yeah. Now she's jumping. Thirty-five amps, thirty-six amps, four hundred fifty watts, just like the uh, it reads on the side of the. Uh... Yeah, it's four hundred fifty watts, just like it reads on the side of the um, air conditioner. Thirty-seven amps. Ooh, look at the voltage. Let's watch this. I think I'm going to go crank it on high and see what it does. Ooh, almost up to 40 amps. Steadily climbing. This is running on battery only, so. Look at the voltage drop. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna see what it does on high for a second. Now I'm running uh, the max fan and maximum uh, compressor. So it looks like I'd need at least 600 watts of solar to keep up with this thing. That's what I'm thinking anyway. 800 to be safe probably. Anyway, it's a pretty neat experiment. Um, maybe I'll be able to run the AC off the battery during the day with a with enough solar. So that's why I plan for the small air conditioner. I, I think I need six to eight hundred uh, watts of solar. So I don't know how I'm going to come about that, but probably going to take some big panels up top. Wow, 777 subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and uh, subscribing and commenting and giving me useful tips. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.